Do you cry? I do. He uh, cried outside <laughs> just now when we were discussing. <laughs> I do, I do, I do, yeah. And I haven't cried in a while, but I do cry, yes. But there is this perception that uh, that makes a man weaker. I don't think so. I think men absolutely, absolutely should cry, and I want my sons to know that they should be able to express their emotions. Absolutely. Um, d does it matter if other people think that it's not very manly? It does. Um, it does because the perception that people have, especially young men growing up today, is that when you cry, you're weak. When you mm. cry, you're not good enough. Um, you're not man enough. Um, we're encouraging young men to express their emotions appropriately, so not necessarily to cry. It's not just about crying. It's, it's talking mm. about your feelings, talking about the difficulties you're experiencing mm. and why you experience I don't have them. a problem with the crying. Yeah, <laughs> people want to emote. There's Absolutely. It, you know, all sorts of reasons for emoting. I have a problem with the idea you're not allowed to use the phrase man up anymore. Got it. Right? When I played sport at any level, Right, when you if you were losing a match, your coach would get you go, right, right, lads, yeah. time to man up. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Right. And you it would yeah. normally rally you yeah. to to so, play better, right? So, what so, is wrong with the phrase man up? So what like, did, why has it become this toxic thing? Yeah. Where I, to behave yeah. like a man apparently is now a stick to beat you with. <laughs> so let me ask you this. When you were asked to man up, what did it mean to you? Just get tough. Get on with it. Get on with the job. So, get so tough, do, be do resilient. Better, do better, be, be resilient. Be mentally strong. Be mentally strong. All those things. I mean, okay. What is wrong with actually... I, I've always believed in being affirmatively positive. Yeah. In other words, your strength. Yes. rather than wallow too much, yes. actually yes. try and encourage people to yeah. be mentally resilient Absolutely. and mentally strong. Yes. But you can't now use any language like that yeah. without people immediately screaming that they're yeah. And offended. blurring the lines between masculinity and femininity. And I, I think, yes, a man should be able to express their feelings, but I also want an alpha male. Mm. I'm an alpha female and if I didn't have an alpha male, I'd walk all over him and then my libido would just be down the drain. And, in and interestingly... <laughs> and and you're and ruining and women's and sex life. <laughs> <laughs> and interestingly, as an alpha female, no one walks around calling you masculine. No, they well, sometimes they, they do. Respect really? the fact uh, so yes, they, they, they do. They, they respect <laughs> the fact that you're you are, you are feminine or you're a woman. And, yes, and but they, I just don't, they I don't celebrate want my that. man to be crying. Yeah. You know, I mean, I cry every 28 days of my yeah. cycle. I don't want my man to be crying every 28, 28, 28 when days. When did masculine... I don't want to call him about this. No, hang on. I've already commented about this yesterday for the Daily Mail, right? When did I read, I read that. When did masculinity <laughs> itself become an offensive word? When did when even Prince Charming, we're mm. told by Kira Knightley, mm. is an evil force that must be expunged mm. from the world because he rescued <laughs> mm. you know, a woman who was actually, in Cinderella's case, being abused, being kept in slavery, yeah. right? But because a handsome prince who she genuinely yes. loves yes. saves her, this is now apparently so an me, evil. So let me get in there, Piers. This is it. There's actually nothing wrong, and the reason I'm in here is to actually encourage more people to talk about masculinity in the way that you're talking about. It's just... We I like be, being a man. We, oh, we, just have to be, we just have to be a little bit more positive about that word, and you're right. Look, look it's at, been take, it's been, it's been taken, It's been He's taken the... out of context and made to seem like being a man is a bad thing. Right. I no. actually don't talk about good men. I talk about men. You don't have to be good to be a man. But Men you don't have to be bad be to, to be express... masculine either. No, absolutely. Right. Right. And that, look, at the rock. Point. Yeah. look at the rock. He's Being like, masculine is not necessarily a bad thing. But, but yes. what is masculinity? Masculinity to me is being Take kind, charge, is being caring, yes. is being all those things. Yes. Yes. And, and yeah. Look at the words you're using. They're all the soft words, right? <laughs> which is fine. Which is fine. Good. But what is wrong with a man being strong? Yes. Nothing. In fact, what is wrong with a man fact, being tough? In fact, we What is wrong with a man wanting to protect <laughs> being a dominant. woman or a, now, or there's a the family <laughs> or friends? What is wrong with those qualities? You know, if I, if I didn't want kind those qualities James a, Bond yeah. style stuff. What is wrong with that? Exactly. So, if I didn't want those qualities in a man, then I'd just date a woman. So James Bond, look, I'll talk about that because I think you want to hear more about this. James Bond is a fantastic character. And he has some masculine. He has, he has some masculine. He has, he has, he has, he has, he has, he has some masculine. He has some masculine. It's gonna be all PC. He has some, he has, he has some masculinity identities that are not encouraging to young men. And then has other ones which we think That's are great. He's a protector. Man. He's kind. Right. He's loyal to so his let's country. Use the rock. He the wants rock to do is well. He's all of those things, and yeah. he is a good family man, and he loves his children. Yes. He loves his and he wife. carries them. And he's masculine. He kisses them. Yeah. He's reach, masculine. Reach to them. Yeah. James Bond's a single guy. Why can't he hit on women? Not that many. Thanks. I mean, there were clinics oh, for that. Not me about three. Not me <laughs> about three in a movie spanning a, a span of say and, and several is, months. <laughs> yes, but also, how does he treat them? How does he speak? Have you to ever them? seen a Bond how, how girl? Does he, how does he treat the James Bond? No, because you're not there for the yeah. aftermath. Yeah. Yes, actually, you're not there yes. For the when, yes. When she gets disposed when, name by one, him, name one Bond girl <laughs> yeah, yeah. who actually didn't like Susanna, him. Susanna, Susanna just mentioned it. When she when she gets disposed by him. Yeah, he he. Well, he moves on very quickly. He's not loyal. He doesn't. I mean, I don't think. I don't. 
think I don't think you will like I don't think I don't think you will well it is masculinity because no, masculinity is positive do that. but it is positive it's a positive thing and we should encourage more men to be ma to have masculinity that's here's good. what happens here's where, if we take your yardstick for all this here's where we end up this is James Bond today there we are I mean with the papoose. <laughs> and the trouble with that is it's like it's not about carrying your child but he's bond carry the baby in your arms like I oh, did I with mine. With you, though, Piers, Piers. I think that's nice. I think they that he can ridiculous. bond with his child and think it brings them closer together. We're not going back over Papu's game, but honestly, that was such a <laughs> sinking moment for, for me. You. Like, oh, God. <laughs> See, you were the only person in the universe who found that in masculinity. Yes, yeah. absolutely. <laughs> Other absolutely. Woman honestly. in the world saw Daniel Craig... There's not a woman alive who actually... Yeah. There's not a woman alive who genuinely likes Ashley is my ovaries come alive. Ashley, Ashley, Ashley thinks it was great. Yeah. And Ashley he wants a man who can do these things. He kills yeah. it, he kills it. Ab ab number one passion killer killed in the entire world. Killed Daniel, a passion right? for Piers. Oh, it's a papoose. <laughs> if I'm a sexy in my papoose. Oh, no. my goodness, of course you do. Nobody does. It's Daniel like a babe Craig. magnet having nobody, a baby in the yeah. papoose. Nobody yeah. alive Everyone finds a, it. anything but a passion you, killer. You, you know what? They don't. I think that child is happy in that papoose. And that's what's important. How do you know? Important. You can't even see it. I think that's if what's important. If he was important. crying, walking down the street, then crying with a the papoose. Then I would have a real problem. I have. When I too old, this friend, I took one in each arm, marching down the but it does go back to the cavemen days because the woman would want the man with the biggest muscles because they know that it's, he would provide for the right. family more. I He'd like the, the caveman meat. days. Yeah. And, and yeah, look, things were simpler in the caveman <laughs> and, days. And, and oh, those honestly. men, those men today are different. Those men today are strong but kind. Yes. yes. Caring and loving. Yeah, but they, yes. Yes. they, they yes. speak yes. their mind. Now you're they're finally, firm. They're protective. Now they you're care. finally they using... They go out and work right. for their families. Now you're they finally, ensure that they can now, provide for their families. Now you are finally using words like strong. Yes. Oh, and there's nothing wrong with that word. word. Yeah. Women, women are strong, word. and we encourage women to be strong. There's nothing less feminine women about like women men being strong. To be strong. I'm alpha male. I'm yes. alpha female and, and, and all day, and men, every day. And, and I need my men, man to be and alpha many, male. And many men like sometimes. their women to be strong too. Yeah, mm. masculinity is not always toxic. It can no. be a no. good thing. Chivalry Absolutely. is a good thing. Yes. Right. Men these days, you know, you get women now. When you open a door for them, they frown at you. Or if you stand up when they walk in a room, they frown at you. Yeah. Or you offer to pay a bill in a restaurant, they frown at you. Oh, I would frown at. Any of it's that. called chivalry. Yeah. Well, we're right? trying. We're, just it's all toxic masculinity. I, I, I think so. Why are you frowning at me? It's just me frowning at you every day. <laughs>